You know, she was like, you're gonna write me a wedding song, right? And what I do, I kind of have to write a song. And I was nervous because, you know, since I am supposed to be good at this, what if she doesn't like the song, you know? <laughs> what if, what if, uh, what if it's the wrong message or something? But I happened to one day be driving to the studio with a producer and writer that I work with a lot named Jacob Lee. And I had the hook uh, kind of in my head for Big Little Life. I called my wife and I go, is it weird if I write your song with another writer on the song? Like, is, is that weird if he's writing lyrics about you? <laughs> but she was cool with it. She was like, as long as the song is, you know, the best song it can be. And I had no intentions of actually even releasing it. But then uh, my manager was like, "This everyone likes this song and, and you should put it out there because it, it's a strong song because it was written with real emotions and it's a very, you know, honest song, so maybe other people could relate to it too. So we decided last minute to do a video, and uh, the video happened to be right in this set, <laughs> my house. <laughs> so we uh, we cleared out all the furniture. This was a week before I got married, keep in mind. So we were already like stressed and had a lot going on. We brought in a whole film crew. We cleared out all our furniture onto the deck and slowly rebuilt the set to look like we were just moving into our new house. We were here in the house for 48 hours pretty much straight. Nobody slept. Um, and we, we did like a lot of uh, quick cuts and little shots and slowly built like the entire, everything was built up and we took one shot. Built it up, got the lighting right, took one shot. It took forever to get the lighting right. Our neighbors must have been like, what the heck is going on in this house? Because we had lighting guys outside the house moving things like around the window and there's like 15 people outside looking out and holding like heavy things and I'm in here like you know the house there's furniture outside there's nothing <laughs> it was just kind of a crazy mess and we thought we were gonna actually be able to get it done in one day and uh, it's a kind of a funny story because my wife came home the first night and I was like we're not done yet so I had to put her up in a hotel I was like you do not want to come home right now this house is a mess you do not want to come home right now it's kind of funny, when she came home and she, after 40 hours, went in the bedroom, we had a couple more takes to do. We had to play the song so low so she couldn't hear it. So I was kind of mouthing the lyrics, but she was in the room next door and I was like, I don't want her to hear it yet. As much as I would have liked the song to be a complete surprise for her, she kind of knew it was coming and then the video was obviously the giveaway. And, and originally, I had wanted her in the video, but you know, she didn't want to do that and I have to respect that space, so yeah. We had to have an actress and everyone's like, at the end of the video, that's not, that's not your, uh, your wife. And I was like, I know, but you know, gotta make believe a little bit. Yeah, that was a kind of crazy week. And a little ambitious, but we got, we got it done. <laughs>